Yeah, we had no answer for their physicality at the rim. Uh, B.J. Hall, Hunter Tyson, uh, just, uh, just you know, they just killed us in the paint. And, uh, uh, and then offensively, we could not get anything going in the paint to, uh, to, to fight back, uh, to, to try to put fouls on them or something, just to get them out of the way. But credit to them. They just lined up and physically dominated. Questions for Chico? Chico, obviously the next man up kind of mentality with having so many guys up. How do you feel like you really embodied that tonight? I feel like uh, we embodied next man up. We got a couple guys out right now. But uh, we all work hard in practice, and we all get the opportunity to show what we can do in practice and uh, deliver on the court tonight. We're all pretty excited about this matchup, just not having played it last year. A natural rivalry game. How, how, how much anticipation was there on your side going into this? Right. I was uh, excited for his game. Uh, in state rivalry. Can't beat it. Comes in for a tough time. Chico, how would you describe this week and the uncertainty that's come with everything that you guys are dealing with right now and up until last night, not even being sure if this game will be played? Uh, really just practice hard, uh, practice hard, lift weights hard. Uh, just listen to Coach Frank and what he has to say, and then be everybody uh, all hands on deck and be prepared for whatever happens. Anything else for Chico? All right, thanks. Questions for Coach Martin? Church, you mentioned the physicality of Clemson. I, I guess 14 offensive rebounds in the first half was, was a big part of that. They never stopped. They, they, they just posted us, offensive rebounded us. Uh, they, they played with a physicality at the rim that we, we couldn't answer. We, we didn't have the discipline to defend without fouling. Um, and uh, give them credit. Give them, my guys tried. My guys tried. It's not like they just went out there and fell down. They tried and just, uh, just couldn't do it. Obviously, you, you recruited PJ. Um, he didn't. You, you didn't face him last year because the game got canceled. How, how much have you seen him grow as a player since you recruited him? Oh, PJ's a tremendous player. Great young man, unbelievable family. Uh, uh, he, he's uh, he knows how to play. He, you know his high school coach is, is phenomenal. Uh, Thomas Ryan, you know the program at Dorman, they did a great job in preparing him for college. And then Brad uh, uh, runs great structure to utilize PJ's because PJ's a multi-talented kid. He's not just a low post guy. So they move him around. Uh, they, they so you got to have the discipline. To, to be able to defend them. And the second that you relax, then he just attacks you and posts you. And, and unfortunately, we just we, we couldn't match the level of basketball that he's playing at right now. And then Hunter Tyson, don't, don't take him away. I mean, he absolutely dominated the paint uh, with his offensive rebound. Was Kuzner bothered by the ankle? Yeah, he, 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 he's not ready to play. I, you know, he tried to gut it out. He's on one leg. I mean, uh, he tried to be a good teammate because of just the moment that we're in right now, but he's 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 not. You know, I, I I wish I could hit rewind and and have told them not to play tonight. I know you don't make excuses. You play with what you got. You want next man up. Somebody <clears throat> mentioned that that yeah, the coach was frustrating not to be able to go into a game like this with all hands on deck for you. It, it's not. It, it you know those days happen. Phil, when you coach, you know, guys get hurt, guys, whatever. The, the, the problem is that we've been playing well and, and uh, uh, you know, you, you, you day off is Wednesday, and then from Wednesday to Thursday, you start getting bad news. And it just deflates, deflates your team, deflates your spirit, deflate, you know, it's, uh, uh, and we just, uh, but with all that said, we, you know, we started the game pretty good, and then we 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 got frustrated, and but that we got frustrated not because of us, because of Clemson, their their physicality, their they made the game really hard for us, and and we we did uh, when we stopped scoring, we stopped trying to execute on offense, and then we started pressing and taking some bad shots, and uh, and then defensively we just like I said earlier, you know, PJ. Hunter Tyson just controlled the game. Maybe I have a last question for Frank. Kind of like I mentioned Chico, how would you say he kind of really stepped up tonight? Yeah, Chico can score. Chico can score. Chico's uh, uh, has, a, has a really good understanding of how to put the ball in the basket. 
You know, he uh, um, he continues to try to understand our defensive system, um, and uh, um, which it's simple, but it's it's. It's really simple, and it's the X and O part, but it's it requires unbelievable amount of discipline, um, and that's that's his challenge right now is to continue to grow defensively. But Chico can score, and I give him credit. He lined up and he took advantage of the opportunity, and uh, you know, and especially in the second half there, he 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 created some baskets for us when we had no chance to score, and kind of when he started scoring, it gave us a chance to. To kind of relax a little bit and go make some shots. Thanks, everybody. Thank, Thank you, you Coach. Thank you.